Hello my soccer universe and I think it is time to show you my favorite Portuguese uh, club jersey from a team that I would argue is every Austri is Austria's favorite Portuguese team and I'm of course talking about Sporting Club de Portugal or Sporting Lisbon as they are uh, typically known outside of Portugal. I gotta say I have been looking at this shirt and this was also at, uh, in early 2001 I wanted to get a sporting jersey. I've been looking at this one for a while and I didn't realize how awesome it actually is. I knew it's a long sleeve. I was a little bit worried, is it real or not? But then I ordered it, I also got a scarf with it. And the moment I, I unpacked it, I realized it, I had made, I, it was an absolute banger. I mean, just look at it with all the striping and so on. It looks absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Um, the Puma Cat logos are the ones from 2018, you know, those are thick rubbery uh, materials that uh, may go off. But what I really like about this one the best is the dual layer all throughout. You can see here it opens up and then there's a dual layer and it goes throughout the jersey front and back. There's a whole lot of ventilation. It also goes over the long sleeve. It's an extremely, extremely comfortable jersey to wear and I probably would wear it a whole lot more often if uh, like on the back side that sponsor already took a little bit of a beating so I actually uh, refrain a bit of wearing it because you know uh, I know I wash it carefully but uh, this one has me a teeny bit worried yes I, I, I run over it and so on but yeah uh, I absolutely love it I mean this was but the, I think it is, this was my first green and white jersey and give me you now I'm a Lusk fan and then there is of course the Rapid Vienna is of course also green and white so I always was kind of refraining from green and white though I got a Werder jersey but that you know uh, green and white uh, in this case hoops this is the first one I gotta say I mean the moment that I took it out and I saw it I said man is this an awesome jersey and there's something about the, uh, I mean, it's not, technically it's not hoops, it's horizontal stripes because it is uh, broken here, but you know, I call it now hoop jersey. It, is ju it just looks awesome. And with the long sleeves, it's just, it's, it's an absolutely amazing jersey. And even the sponsor, who doesn't look pretty on here, but so somehow it still blends in. Of course, I would prefer this to be in green. Um, but you know, uh, we have a sleeve sponsor mio or emeo mio i don't know it's probably the same uh, same company and as i said i mean just look at the sleeves there's just something absolutely uh, absolutely amazing about this shirt i really gotta say uh i am not sure whether this i actually think it's a it's a replica and not a player ed um, edition just because i have the inner tag here but even if uh, this is such, it is a super, super comfortable shirt to wear. Really, 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 really. Now, uh, why do I say that Sporting Lisbon is more or less Austria's uh, favorite Portuguese team? Well, almost any, since I'm a fan, almost any Austrian team that played against Sporting Lisbon had a success story associated with it. It started with, uh, in nine, late 93, when Austria Salzburg, even though losing the away leg 2-0, uh, beat Sporting Lisbon 3-0 in overtime uh, and that was a Lisbon uh, a sporting club um, uh, uh, featuring the likes of Figo and Balakov for instance so an absolutely amazing team then two years later uh, almost same story just higher score than in, in, in the Detroit like Rapid Vienna beat Sporting uh, <laughs> on their run I think that, and this was also uh, late this was two, literally two years later uh, on their run to their uh, European final and then it got a little bit quiet but you know whenever sporting pops up there's always this yeah there, there, there is a, a major his history involved yeah and then it hit Mike club Lusk uh, when in the during their Europa League group stage come campaign they were uh, in the same group with sporting losing a game that they thoroughly dominated in Lisbon Thanks to Bruno Fernandes for five minutes scoring two goals. I mean, they had a one goal lead, uh, I think for 75 minutes last, completely rocked uh, Sporting uh, and ended up losing. At the time I thought, oh, this might 
it's too bad because we might not move on well we won the group uh, and we won the group thanks to a 3-0 at home against admittedly a second string sporting Lisbon but I think the even better story is that in the uh, following season with a one-legged playoff in Lisbon against Sporting going there and winning 4-1 which I think is still the best last performance in Europe uh, to me this was an absolute stunner in a season where Sporting ended up winning the Port Portuguese title at a canter but yeah was not this season, I think in that season, 08 or 09, they finished second and they made it out of the group stage in the Champions League, I want to say, and then they got mauled by Bayern Munich, as far as I can remember that. But you know, getting mauled by Bayern Munich seems to be a rite of passage for uh, many Southern European teams, and then uh, the time comes when you can beat Bayern Munich eventually. In any case, Please let me know what you think about this jersey, uh, if you like it as much as I do. I, of all, and you see it in my three, I think that the Benfica jersey is special. The, uh, I get to like the Porto jersey, although it's clearly not in the number three, but by the look of it, this green and white beauty is my favorite. And although this is probably the oldest jersey that I have in my collection, I just think that this one is, I don't know, I like this one better, personally. But. It's very, 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 it's very, very close. In any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day.